So now I give the word to Matias uh, Gobel that's going to talk about visualization of geospatial temporal data. So again, thank you very much. Um, I uh, did not prepare slides for this uh, user story because I uh, added links to the Moodle. Uh, now mm -hmm. I found out how it uh, works. Yes. And um, upload it. I, I uploaded <laughs> links, yes. And um, I will uh, show you the things I'm going to talk about uh, on uh, the website. Uh, and uh, uh, you can follow uh, those links uh, from the Moodle. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, I will so I'll just close down everything I uh, opened here. And um, we also added a link to an article I uh, wrote with a colleague of mine, Martin de la Iglesia, for the Journal of the Text Encoding Initiative. And uh, this... Um, article is about uh, the semantic analysis of uh, yeah, uh, documents prepared with uh, TEI, prepared according to the TEI standard. And um, this is a very good example I uh, opened uh, here during the last uh, talk, where uh, I like to show you how this uh, probably uh, works. Um, Within your TEI documents and within those XML documents, you can mark up entities. And uh, an entity is uh, um, uh, something like a person, a place, or uh, a date that is named in a text. And uh, there are different methods. Uh, as always, uh, if you're dealing with TEI, you do not uh, rely on a single standard, you don't have to do anything just in, in uh, one way, there are different ways to encode uh, nearly the same feature. And um, what I have here, and I guess I should, mm -hmm. yeah, um, yeah, it just destroys the layout on top, but uh, it doesn't matter for uh, this uh, purpose. Um, we have the name of uh, Martin Luther named in the notebook here, and uh, it is inside a so-called referencing string, the uh, TI element RS, and uh, we have a reference here to um, yeah, kind of a, a database uh, and a kind of a data set we included in the digital edition where we uh, added IDs from authority files. Uh, then, but uh, this is the way a single entity is encoded. And now imagine we are um, going to encode every single entity. For example, the next one here, the uh, monastery um, in uh, Erfurt, uh, which is encoded in this uh, part, another referencing string, we have another one um, here, Erfurt. Yeah, this is part of the uh, monastery uh, of Erfurt. Um, again, uh, here is mentioned in this monastery, so uh, we can encode the uh, uh, pronouns, for example, and other references uh, uh, in in this way, just to. Um, uh, we just have to uh, uh, mark up the referencing string, this RS element. And uh, you can imagine um, inside the notebooks you uh, find many entities, and uh, it is um, a good idea to uh, prepare an addition in this way because you can extract uh, um, kind of uh, a table of uh, contents or uh, um, uh, um, yeah, um, an authority file for your own uh, edition where all uh, references are named, a re uh, register uh, added to your uh, edition. And um, when you're done uh, so far, you can 
extract further uh, more the information from the um, edition to um, ref uh, yeah to to link every entity that is named on a single page. So um, uh, imagine what uh, uh, Frank said before uh, on uh, the network analysis. Um, the links within the network means that um, a person, a speaker within uh, the dramatic uh, text is interacting in, uh, in any way with another uh, figure from the drama. In the same way, you can extract networks out of um, digital editions like we prepared here and uh, to follow, yeah, you can, you can follow um, one of uh, the uh, links I provided to, uh, uh, to go to this website where I um, collected some visualizations we prepared. So, uh, for example, a network, uh, here it is, oh, um, zoomed in, uh, uh, I zoomed in, so, uh, th this network you can see here uh, belongs to the notebook I showed uh, right uh, before. And uh, we have single nodes like uh, here the city of Erfurt and um, uh, an another small village in uh, Thuringia. Uh, Thuringia itself is uh, mentioned many times and uh, that's why it's... Uh, connected and linked to other nodes in this network. So uh, in, in this way, this network represents uh, the notebook. It's uh, a way of presenting a text in a different form, in a different visualization form. And uh, yeah, we, we can have a look at this node. It's uh, a person, and uh, that's why it's uh, in the, uh, light blue. It's uh, Lukas Kranach, one of the friends of uh, Martin Luther, and uh, 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 Lukas Kranach, uh, der, der Ältere in this case, uh, the, the elder, is um, uh, uh, a painter, uh, uh, and um, probably if, if you know um, any uh, painting uh, that, that shows the, uh, the face of Martin Luther, probably it's uh, painted by Lukas Kranach. Uh, the most famous uh, uh, paintings he draw. And uh, just to uh, add something to play with, uh, it's um, uh, yeah, a bit flexible, a bit uh, res responsible uh, uh, force directed graph, so called. So, this is just a single uh, uh, visualization and just a way to uh, demonstrate that we do not uh, uh, only uh, uh, can show texts in textual uh, form. So, um, as I mentioned before, we have many places named in uh, the notebook and um, it is also a good idea to present those places on a map. Uh, Here the so-called uh, Daria DE Geo browser comes uh, into the play. And uh, let me just adjust this graphic a bit. Um, and what you can see uh, here are just a few places named in the notebook because uh, this uh, uh, visualization tool uh, is not only able to show points on a map or to aggregate some points on a map uh, uh, if you can, uh, as you can see here where uh, not a single place is mentioned because uh, we are zoomed uh, out. Uh, this tool offers a timeline uh, in addition to the, uh, the map. So you are able to select uh, one one part of the timeline just with a uh, selection tool uh, as, as you know from other software and then every uh, place named during this period is highlighted in the map I can just switch to full screen yeah. 
<coughs> this is what is called a geospatial and temporal uh, visualization. And uh, you can see it pretty good here in, uh, in the map when I uh, go with the cursor over an, uh, an item in, in this uh, table. Uh, you see there's something highlighted or something uh, uh, appears in the timeline and also but I'm zoomed in too much and you probably can see that there's uh, the same item highlighted in the map here so okay um, I uh, uh, see that this is just a, a a small data set we have here. It's uh, also just a good guess to connect the places with the uh, dates named in the text because there is no uh, uh, place written in the notebook and uh, there is um, a specific uh, time span uh, mentioned uh, uh, for a single place. So we just uh, took the uh, date uh, that is next to uh, a place name. It's just a good guess, not perfect, but uh, something we uh, can start working with. Um, I will also uh, add the uh, GeoBrowser DE Daria EU uh, link to the Moodle as well. And uh, this is the uh, typical interface. And um, if you don't know what uh, you can do with this tool, you can uh, choose one of our static data sets to uh, get an overview. And I took here uh, from the Internet Movie Database the 5,000 worst uh, movies ever. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, you, you can see the year where... Uh, uh, the year of production and the place of uh, publication of uh, the movies, so there are 26 from Russia and there are 3,565 uh, of the 5,000 worst movies ever uh, pr produced in uh, the United States of America. Um, this is a larger data set and uh, yeah, it, makes more sense to uh, to view on uh, larger data sets uh, with this tool. You can uh, choose between the background maps, so the open street map is uh, a very common one, and contemporary map, probably uh, not the best one that uh, fits to your data set, so you can choose uh, historical maps uh, from uh, from this list, and okay, it uh, goes back until uh, 2000 before Christ, which uh, means that uh, nearly everything is unclaimed. Uh, okay. But uh, there are a few uh, um, uh, background maps that are very useful. So, for example, you can uh, choose the map of uh, 19. Uh, 45, uh, where you can see that there are uh, two Germanys, and uh, here's a single entry for East Germany, and uh, one uh, of the worst movies ever are uh, made comes from Eastern Germany. And we can add additional data sets to this visualization, so let's take the top 5,000 movies ever uh, created in addition to the uh, worst 5,000 and uh, what you can see here is uh, that there are just a, a few of the worst movies ever uh, prepared in Africa but uh, there are uh, many more, uh, or more countries uh, um, mentioned uh, that prepared yeah pretty good movies. Again, um, uh, the United States of America uh, are mentioned here, but uh, uh, the relation is quite interesting. So they prepared uh, uh, 3,600 of the uh, worst 5,000 movies and just 2,300 of the best 
uh, movies ever. So uh, just to uh, prepare uh, many movies or just to produce many movies uh, has nothing to do with the quality. And again, you uh, can uh, have a look into the details here. You can see the uh, overall rating of uh, a movie and uh, yeah, switch between the data sets. You can uh, select uh, parts of uh, 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 the timeline and, or parts of uh, 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 the places mentioned on the map and separate them into uh, new data sets. So um, I can... Uh, click on create new data sets from selected values so uh, this is quite interesting um, uh, for example uh, let me just have a look um, restart the engine and uh, we'll have a look on a different data set um, I prepared based on um, persons uh, uh, named in Wikipedia categories and uh, their uh, dates of uh, birth and uh, date of uh, death. So I just have to look up the uh, uh, the correct data set. Um, You can integrate own data sets by uploading uh, KML files. There's also a pretty good data sheet editor where you can uh, enter um, where you can enter um, addresses like Berlin and can use an auto completion feature that uh, uh, completes the longitude and latitude, the coordinates of uh, um, of a place mentioned, geolocation completion. And I hope this will work now. Test address building and yeah, here we go. So uh, the longitude and latitude is uh, added from an authority file, I think, uh, GeoNames, uh, and the Getty ID is uh, uh, entered as well. So. But um, you can also um, link to an KML file. This is what I've done uh, with this. Oops. Load the KML file. Come on, load the KML file. <laughs> okay, I can force the machine to load the KML file if I don't want to uh, uh, control with this field. So, and uh, the Wikipedia category I used for this uh, example is, uh, 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 yeah, it's a category that collects all persons named in Wikipedia that are um, citizens of the former German Democratic Republic. So you can see where citizens of the uh, German Democratic Republic are born um, or uh, where, where they died. And it's quite interesting to select all the data sets that are not uh, uh, on the, uh, yeah, within the country of uh, the uh, GDR. So that's why I choose the historical map of 1945. I use the selection tool to select all uh, persons, all uh, names mentioned uh, uh, in the uh, 
GDR country and then I can invert the selection and create a new data set. I can close the first one and so I have an overview of all persons named in Wikipedia uh, that were uh, citizens of the German Democratic Republic but are not born or died in uh, uh, um, yeah, Eastern Germany. And this guides us to uh, pretty interesting uh, Wikipedia articles, pretty interesting biographies you can read and uh, it's just an example usage of the uh, GeoBrowser tool. And uh, you, you can try it yourself. You can you, uh, use the datasheet editor and enter uh, just a, a few place names and uh, prepare some data sets. It's also possible to include links, for example, back to Wikipedia, as in this case, or to your own digital edition when you uh, provide uh, uh, an edition. You can uh, include backlinks to for example, uh, the page where a place uh, is mentioned. So. Okay, so uh, that's just uh, a few impressions on uh, different uh, methods of uh, visualization and what you can uh, do if you um, collect uh, data like uh, we did in the referencing string in our digital edition. There are probably more ways to get uh, um, yeah, good data or data that is uh, uh, yeah, where it is very useful to get an overview over different locations and uh, just a visualization on the map together with a timeline. Okay. Thank you, Matthias. Yeah. Well.